Are you ready to focus on what you're truly passionate about? At the University of Massachusetts Amherst, we're committed to helping students design a meaningful path for their future. As one of the country's top tier public research universities, we're helping drive the world forward, empowering students to challenge convention, champion innovation, and embrace the freedom of affecting real positive change in the world. Tap now to explore flexible options for a high quality education or visit umass.edu. Be revolutionary. I need new music. Discover new music now. JJO. What's up? I'm Maddie Mullins, and I sing for a band called Memphis Mayfire. Madison Solid Rock, 94.1 JJO. It is time to discover new music. One of my favorite things to do. Joining me today, lead singer of Memphis Mayfire, Maddie Mullins. Maddie, how are you, my friend? Doing great, man. Thank you so much for having me. A remade yeah. in misery, set for release June 3rd. It's been noted, quoted, talked about, whatever, that uh, this is the heaviest Memphis Mayfire album yet. Why'd the band want to go heavier? What, what was uh, the reasoning? Man, I think it was probably, you know, a natural byproduct of, the you know, making an album during the pandemic. You know, I think there was a lot of emotions. I think there's not a single person, no matter what walk of life you're from or how much money you have, where you live, whatever, that didn't experience some sort of like loss or trauma during that whole time. And so I, th I think it just felt natural. And at the same time, having a couple years without touring to really like just focus on music and reflect and look at the band, who we are now, who we were when we started, everything we've been through up, up until this point. I think that we just kind of had a better view of ourselves and said we wanted to rediscover some of that angst from our early years that was so much fun to portray live. And so, we, you know, we uh, we dove back in and um, and made some songs that we're really proud of, man. I, you know, I think it's debatable whether or not it's our heaviest record, um, but I do think it's undeniably our best record. You mentioned something there, you know, that I've heard uh, with a lot of bands is having that extra downtime. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, like when when everything is taken away, the, you know, touring and selling merchandise and traveling for radio and traveling to write with all these guys that, you know, you've looked up to forever. When everything is stripped away, you are brought back to a point in your life where you are making your first album. You know how they say uh, you have your whole life to make your first album? It felt like that again. And it felt like an opportunity that we've never had again, that we'll never get again, where we were back in our houses, making records in our own little spaces and doing it the way that that we did at the beginning, you know, which is the process that gave us our, you know, initial connection with our fans. And I think you can just feel it in the songs. You can just hear it in the songs, you know, nothing except the music mattered. If I have nothing but the music, I might as well make the best music I can possibly make. And it brings you back into that headspace of being a new artist again. And, and I think that all kind of fed into this like funnel of, of what this album is. Did you notice some challenges with that? Did you think maybe you started picking things apart too much, almost becoming more of a critic of what you're doing? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We've never had so much time to just listen and re-listen and analyze and reanalyze. And um, it was even harder because this is the first album that our guitar player, Kellen, has produced for the band. So not only were we in charge of all of our notes, but we were in charge of our mixes and our production and the masters and the vocal effects and everything, you know. But man, I honestly, I think I would do it, do it again. I think I would do it the same way again if we could. It felt so us. There was no outside voices pushing us in any direction direction no nobody being like let's wrap this up we got other stuff going on mm -hmm. hey don't you think you should make that song a little different i mean it was literally us in our in our rooms in our houses making music like yeah. we did when we were a kid uh it felt really healthy well we're <laughs> excited june 3rd can't get here soon enough mark it on your calendars uh or if you're watching this in this past june 3rd go out and get it if you haven't gotten yet you big dummies let's talk about uh, the latest single uh make believe that's been out there you guys just dropped the music video for it music videos i'm always so intrigued because you got all you guys you're in there you're used to being on stage and all this do you still have fun making music videos or is it still the part where you're like all right we got to make the music video for this it depends on the music video uh <laughs> it depends on the treatment and like where we're at and what we have to do for it you know like you know we have this really old music video for this song called the center where they we didn't have the money for special effects so they actually put me in a kiddie pool filled it with black water and over a hundred thousand earthworms and i had long hair oh. and i was laying in that while i was screaming i got up and my bass player had to comb the worms out of my hair and it was just like worm guts everywhere um that was not enjoyable to make right <laughs> our video for the old me we shot in the california desert 
through the night, started at like 11 p.m. and went all the way through the night. It was freezing cold. I had a body double that wanted me to like grab him and pull him out of a trunk and slam him on the ground, but my hands were numb uh, just from how cold it was and everything. That one was not fun to make. Um, <laughs> but, you know, like this one for Make Believe, uh, it, was, it was so much fun to make. Good. Good. That entire video is uh, green screen. And so we flew out to LA and we shot with this guy named Ori McGinnis, who is an absolute genius with this program called Unreal Engine, which is where he creates all of his music videos in post. Um, so we shot, you know, a couple live performance shots in this room with this matrix, you know, like this matrixy kind of looking code going up and down the walls. But then the majority of it, all the things that you see are all special effects and all done in post. And it's incredibly impressive, his work. And so I was probably like filming myself for maybe 30 minutes of the entire day. It was awesome. Can't beat that. So we started at Blair Witch Project handheld camera to Avatar-esque special effects here with the latest. You, you nailed it. Literally nailed it right on the head. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, exactly. Discover new music now. What's up? I'm Maddie Mullins, and I sing for a band called Memphis Mayfire. J.J.O. Do you have a favorite track on the album? Oh, man, it's really hard. They, that's why we released so many singles. We released nine singles um, because I feel like every song has its own life and deserves its own spotlight, so it's really hard. But I will say, like, if I'm listening through the one that always catches me and I'm just kind of like, whoa, we wrote that is Make Believe. That is the song. It's so unlike anything we've ever released before. And it's so much like songs that I just want to listen to on repeat, you know, like one of those yeah. songs you can't, you're like, dang, I want to hear that again, that you just, fa you, you know, you feel proud to, to be a part of it. There's so many songs that I hear that I'm just like, dang, I wish I would have written that, you know, <laughs> um, you know, like shine down's newest single. I'm just like, what a massive uh -huh. song, but this one it's, it's ours and it feels special and it, and it's going over really well live. We just played it, you know, for a month straight all over the country on this last tour that we were on and it went so awesome and yeah, make believe man. I love it. Well, good. Curtis Single, that's easy for us to remember then out there. Uh, well, once again, folks, June 3rd, Remade in Misery. Uh, this has been a long time coming, and we're super excited to add this to our collection from Memphis Mayfire. Uh, I want to talk about a couple things here just in doing my little research on this. Is it true you launched a men's grooming brand back in 2016? I did. I did. Yep. It's called On Point Pomade. And... Um, it was, you know, like I've always wanted to stay sharp. I like to stay sharp. You know what I mean? It's been like a passion of mine for the longest time. And I love barber culture. I don't think that anybody should be going and getting their hair cut at, you know, a run of the mill place. I think that everybody should have a barber experience and, and use products that are, that, that work great and that they're not terrible for you. And, you know, like, so, you know, I was um, at a point on Warp Tour a long time ago where I was having to use three or four different grocery store products to get my hair to stay in place, you know while we were playing in a hundred degree weather in, you know, Las Vegas in, in June. And so I was like, I really, I want to make my own. I want to figure out how I can make a water soluble product. That's not hard to wash out, but something that will actually hold my hair all day. And so I spent two years going back and forth with this, with a buddy who is a scientist in Oregon. And we just like developed a bunch of different versions and finally landed on our premium pomade formula, which is, I think one of the greatest hair products that's ever been on the market. So you yeah. actually, instead of just slapping your name on something, you got in there, you got beakers and schematics and you guys got a formula. Oh, dude, I didn't even make it for the general public. At, at the beginning, I, I wanted this for myself. Like, I just wanted a product that I could use. And then when I realized how great it was, uh, we made it available, and now people all over the, all over the world use it, man. Onpointpomade.com. Oh, look at that. All right, we'll, we'll put the plug in there, and uh, everyone looks sharp. You know, go buy the record, and then, you know, get some pomade. Uh, who has a better pompadour, uh, if, if you had to pick one? James Dean and Rebel Without a Cause, or John Travolta and Grease... The James Dean pomp is a little more natural. I'm going to go John Travolta. I think John wow. Travolta's pomp is uh, is probably so iconic and and such a big part of that whole like greaser movement and everything that yeah I think I'm going to go I'm going to go Travolta. Uh, I like that. I did not expect that. Lastly, too, I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, you work with your wife Brittany as well with a uh, nonprofit. Yeah, honestly, man, it's so much just her and I support it however I can promote it. Um, but the work that they do is incredible. It's called Beneath the Skin. You can visit the website at Beneath the Skin on online.org and they are a peer-to-peer -peer mentoring program for young women all over the country. They will take anybody who wants to sign up as a mentee 
pair them up with a mentor who is, um, you know, similar in age, has been through similar experiences and just wants to walk through a 12 month period of life with them. And it's just somebody to have someone they can talk to outside of their friend group, outside of their family, someone that they can trust, someone that they can be open and honest with and just share with, you know, we, we believe that mental health is so important and right now more important than ever before. Um, we're seeing so many tragic stories from people who just don't have the resources to take care of their mental health. And so uh, just she's getting so involved with that and trying to make a difference however she can. And, and they do really cool stuff, man, beneath the skin. That's awesome. That's awesome. So making great music, looking good while you're doing it and helping out great causes. I think uh, we can chalk that up as a win, buddy. I love it. Yeah, uh, again, you. everyone, Maddie Mullins from Memphis Mayfire, June 3rd, Remade in Misery. Uh, check out their latest singles, music videos. Uh, they've been pumping them out and uh, we're really excited to uh, get this out there. Before you go, let's do Rapid Fire with Maddie Mullins of Memphis Mayfire. And uh, this is there's no wrong answers. Just go with your gut feelings. And ready. we'll try and do this. All right. Well, let's start back to the hair thing. Middle part or side part? Uh, for men. For men. <laughs> yeah, side part. For side sure. part. I was thinking, come on, maybe the 90s middle part is coming now. Okay, fine. I was hoping <laughs> to bring it back. Uh, yeah. more, more drums or more bass? Ooh, man, that's hard. Um, more drums. Okay. All right. Your bass player is going to be mad at you now. Nice job. <laughs> Chili dog or corn dog? Chili dog. Would you rather see Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster? Bigfoot. Fruit Stripe gum or Big League Chew? Big League Chew. See, fruit Stripe is good. It just loses its flavor so fast. It does, man. I mean, you got four seconds max. Yeah, four seconds, but it's a good four seconds. It's, yeah, it's a damn good four seconds. <laughs> uh, last question. Would you rather fight a man with bear arms or a bear with man arms? Ooh, um... I think a bear with man arms because I could handle the man arms and I could outsmart the bear. <laughs> That's a good way to like, you know what? You really got deep. Most people don't know what to say to that one. So good. <laughs> uh, Maddie, thank you so much for the time, man. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you so much, man. You are so gifted at this. It's refreshing to do an interview with someone just on it, man. I really appreciate it. Hey brother, my pleasure. And I'll make sure to pass that part of the interview on to my bosses. So I get that raise that I've been asking for. Yes, so, sir. Right, yeah, I'll fight for it. <laughs> I love it. He'll sign for it. All right. Again, don't forget remade in misery, June 3rd, Memphis may fire. We'll see you guys next time. Discover new music. Now on the homepage of WJJO.com in the JJO app or wherever you get your podcasts. JJO.